Thank you very much for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about processing customer overpayments in Acumatica. Let's take a look at our agenda. So the first thing we're going to do is enter a payment. And when we enter a payment as normal, we can apply payments to invoices. But in this example, we're going to have an amount that we're not going to apply to an invoice. We're just going to leave that as an unapplied amount. Then we're going to create an invoice and then apply that overpayment to that invoice. Here we are in accounts receivable in Acumatica. Let's go ahead and go into payments and applications. And I'll hit the plus sign to create a new payment. Select our customer. And we're gonna put in a payment amount of $10,000. But when we apply to an invoice, we'll take a look at the invoices that are available to apply this payment to. And as you can see, we have one invoice that has a balance of $80,000 and the other invoice has a balance of 9,000. So we'll go ahead and apply this to the $9,000 invoice, leaving an available balance of $1,000. And we'll just release that. Now that that's been released, let's look at our customer details. So I'll go to customer details, select the customer, and there, as you can see, is our unapplied balance. So the next thing we're going to do is create an invoice and apply payment to that invoice. Now that payment could be left out there. It could have been applied to that existing invoice, but we're going to go ahead and create an invoice and apply it to that. So let's create that invoice. So I'll go to invoices and memos, hit the plus sign to create a new invoice, select my customer and put in the document detail of uh, an extended amount of $1,000 and release that. Now that it's been released, once again, let's go back to our customer details. We'll select our customer and as you can see, we have our credit balance payment out here of 1,000 and our invoice of 1,000 and now we're gonna apply those together. To do that, I'm going to drill into the payment. I'm going to add a detail line here. By default, it's going to use invoice, but you can see we can have other options here. And I'm just going to select that invoice that has the $1,000 balance. And there we are. So now we'll go ahead and release that. Now that it's been released, back on our customer details, we can just refresh this and you can see both the invoice and the payment have gone away because their statuses have both been changed to closed. So to review, we entered a payment. The payment amount was greater than the amount that we were applying to invoices. We left that amount as an unapplied balance. Then we created an invoice and then applied that payment to that invoice. Well, in the real world, this can actually happen. You can receive a payment from a customer for an invoice that hasn't been created yet. Subscribe to our channel and our user group. You can find us on LinkedIn. You can contact us directly at NIMS and Associates at ERP at NIMSAssociates.com or call us at 877-454-3200 with extension 6346. Thank you very much for joining us today. We really appreciate it.